We're excited to introduce to you our latest offering from Harrison and SSL, combining the Harrison Drum Flow and SSL Drum Strip plugins. Each plugin comes with dedicated processing to sculpt and shape the sound of your drums, including gate, EQ, compression, and signal generators. Drum Flow and Drum Strip are the only plugins you need to create drums with weight, detail, and definition. Head over to the SSL website to add this bundle to your studio's workflow. Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Audio, and in this video, we're going to look at the Drumflow plugin. The Drumflow is an all in one drum processing solution for kicks, snares, and samples, and it contains Harrison's unique character processing as well as 32 CEQ that was used on legendary albums. All six sections are reroutable, so you can define the sound of your drums for each part of your song. So I know for a fact that these drums were recorded in a garage. They didn't have the best mic pre's, the best microphones, and the sounds are a little subpar. So we're gonna see what this drum flow can do for our tracks. So let's hear our drums first. All right, so the drums aren't horrible, but I can hear some things I might wanna tighten up a little bit. So let's add our drum flow plug to our kick drum by going to Harrison Audio and Drum Flow. And let's just hear the kick drum by itself. So the first thing that I hear, there's a lot of bleed into the kick drum mic from the snare and other elements. So let's use our gate to help clean that up. So depending on where our slider is, we can use the depth knob to give it more depth or less depth depending on that relationship between how loud the signal is and where the threshold is. So for this example, we want to have the whole time down pretty low. So that way we just really clamp down on that gate. All right, so let's hear it with the plug-in off. And with the plug-in on. We can also dive in a little bit deeper with the gate and engage the sidechain filter. This is gonna really help us focus on a certain frequency range that only the kick will live in, and it'll cut out all the higher frequencies from the snare and cymbals. So now that we've isolated the kick a little bit more from the rest of the kit, we can now look at the drum character. And this actually allows us to EQ the attack separately from the tail of the hit. So all we do is just start bringing down the threshold so we know we have some signal going through. And then we can adjust our attack and tail sliders to focus just on the sound that we want. So there's an the EQ for our attack. Now let's start working on the tail. Now the tail is where the resonance of the shell of the kick drum is gonna come from. So we can really mess around and find where that resonance lives and accentuate that. And here it is with the plug-in off. a little back in the mix and here it is with it on so 
we've really filled out the sound where it was before. And now let's look at the signal generator. This is going to help us get even more low end if we feel like we really need it. So as we turn it on, we have presets for kick and snare. And we can make this be a sine wave, a white noise. We can also have internal or external inputs as well. So it's like adding a side chain so you can have other sounds being triggered every time the kick drum hits. But we'll leave it on sine wave for now and just start bringing in the threshold slider. Here it is with it off. And here it is with it on. So that reminds me of an 808 kick kind of sound. So now you can incorporate that into any song and you can mess with the wet dry parameters on this. So you can over accentuate it if you want, or you can dial it back. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at the compressor. Now the compressor has your typical ratio, attack, release, and makeup parameters. And for this kick track itself, it's pretty consistent. So I'm just gonna knock off a little bit of the peaks. Now at the bottom of the plugin window, we have our filters in our 32C channel EQ. And this is great for dialing in your kick drum sound and taking out some more frequencies based on the rest of the kit and how everything sits together. Here's with the plugin off. And with the plugin on. So now looking at the signal generator on the snare, we can introduce some white noise. And when blended in with a little bit of taste, we can really make our snare pop. So let me over exaggerate the sound a little bit so you can hear what it does. So that may be too much snare for what we need, so we can blend that back in. So here's the snare with the full kit with the generator off. And with it on. We can add some compression to the snare to really hone in on the sound. And here it is with a full kit. And now let's use the drum character to add a little bit of crack to the snare. So we're gonna boost some attack frequencies and cut out some of that low rumble on the tail. Here it is with the plug in off. And the plug-in on. And now that we have the kick and snare dialed in, let's hear it with the rest of the band. The drum strip from SSL has all the classic elements that you would want to process your drums. We have a gate, a transient shaper, a low frequency and high frequency enhancer, and also a compressor. So let's add the drum strip to our kick drum. And here's our kick by itself. So the gate section has a separate open and close parameter. So we can really dial in the sound that we want.
And the more we adjust our range, the less snare I hear through the kick mic. We can also adjust our attack release times and our hold time. So here it is with the gate bypassed. And with it on. So a transient shaper can take your hit and make it either really round or make it really pointed, depending on the kind of sound that you're going for. So with the slower speed, we're gonna have a very round sounding kick drum. Then as I make the speed faster, it's gonna really cut out some of that low end and just give it more attack. Okay, we can also go in and enhance the low end and the high end of our kick drum. We do want to make sure we're looking at our output and make sure we're not hitting too hard into the red. So we can always bring down our gain a little bit if we need to. So here it is with the low frequency enhancer off. And with it on. So I'm hearing some good low end thump there and let's see what we can do with the high end now. So here's the kick with the plug in off. And with the plug-in on. So it's definitely a tighter kick drum sound, and that's exactly what I was going for with this song. So here it is with the full kit. So when you need to shape the sound of drums in your next project, be sure to check out the drum flow and drum strip plugins from Harrison Audio and SSL. Once again, I'm Nathan from Harrison Audio and I'll see you in the next video.